And it's not going to happen again in a meeting uh, when we do, uh, where we learn after 50 years, it don't reach 50 years where the civil war fight, fight, take Shelley, will be one of the Ogak Pata Pata of all after independence begins, where the whole of Africa don't see. The question now can be say, what thing being caused the katakata and why the sense behind the bege still they very, very important till now. Now all these questions then touch light for the Inogo Happen Again meeting, one collabo, collabo we happen for the Nigerian Biafra Bege, we happen on Monday for Inside Lagos. And now we deal with our talk talk person, Mary Chinda, we stand Giriba for the collabo. She did with us here. Mary Chinda, we did welcome you inside Plus TV News. Thank you very much. Now, we just want to ask you a small, small thing for the matter we shall do by today. What will be the remembrance? And what will be the remembrance? As in, we then they call a um, Never, Never Again, Again conference. conference. Okay, so the Never Again Conference is um, now on conference, we say, after 50 years mm. of war, that we they ask ourselves, or Ndibu, okay. they ask them, they ask themselves, say, waiting cause our problem. Why we even go fight? Waiting we don't learn. How we day after 50 years? You know, so when they talk, say, a person, we don't reach 40, full at 40 is a, full, is a full forever. Then this time we don't reach 50 years after the war. When they talk about a war where we say, almost two million Biafran civilians died. Children, you know, my, my, growing up, my papa been telling me how he be say they no get food during the war and all of that. So food supply being cut, children be they die, children being get kashoko. War way be say people no even know where you go to run. You don't know where your father or your mama did. And this thing they happened for Igbo land. So this Igbo scorn gather put themselves together. Say okay, we the max say na fifty years. Waiting, may we call ourselves together, both on Haneze day there, Unzuko Munna day there, the big people for Igbo land day there say, waiting cause this problem. And how far, so far we don't be Nigeria, we don't be Biafra again. So far, how would they even cope with this entity called a nationality that is Nigeria? Hmm. Now, wow. so we can't hear say um, Professor Patutomi, Onyeka Oweni, mm. uh, Ohaneze Indigbo, all these Ogbonge people will be mm. attend this Ogbonge conference. Mm. So what do you think say be their statement during okay, the so, time so, of the so, conference? So the statement we then make today for that conference be say, as Indigbo, we won't get mouth for this, our country, Nigeria. Make we, make Una know they marginalize us. We don't fight. We don't say okay. We know they. We know they fight again. But we need to, you know, be given more responsibilities. Okay, even the people where they don't give more responsibilities. How how Una they take they represent the the entity the ethnicity called Igbo for where then they so now just the statement they make where well, Onyeka when be almost shake the table today because in fact you won't break the table. You say Ndibo no they happy for Nigeria. Because of the way we things day, mm. and if things continue like this, so she no go sure say her brothers and sisters who been Dibo go want to still be in the country called Nigeria. So I beg say may God man look and where where because uh, they not they sure say the way we things they say Igbo people so they, they very they happy. happy. So I mean she, she, she almost break the table there today. Hmm. Mm. Okay, so before we continue with more questions and to Mary Chinda, make we just see waiting this whole matter they about. Some of us have lived with some bitterness and we make no apologies about that. We were a people in war, led into war, not by our own wishes or design, but in self-defense. No apologies, Nigeria. No apologies to the world. I would like, therefore, to, pay, to begin by paying tribute to the human spirit which allows broken men and women to overcome the anguish of war and conduct new lives after that war. Okay, um, so what do you think say be the cocoa feeling of everything that they yarn about? Uh, honestly, today, um, destiny, na feeling of sadness, mm. feeling of pain. 
you know, people like Patitomi, just like the, the video where you see, in the recount in days where even him, even even the be rich man Pekin, are uh, in 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 uh, them in the run from worry to Lagos. You know, people just remember how even people, the pe part, part of the people I interviewed, one of them, the Eze, um, Eze of Ndibo in Ekeja, him there for the war. And they remember how that and then they did naked and then they see food shop, how they, how before you know the fact the, 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 the uncle don't die, they don't kill people. It was just the dominant emotion today was that of pain, that of sorrow. You know, remembering, you know, all the things that had happened during the war. A lot of sorrow, a lot of sorrow. And generally for Ndibos all over the world, it's a it's 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 a lot of sorrow for them as you know they're getting to remember what happened to either the them or their fathers or their uncles or their mothers. Mm. Everything yeah. we go down shall I during by that time will be things we're gonna bring back painful Pain, yeah. memories. Yeah, and, and, and the the, mm. the worst thing according to according to waiting experts they say they say if you remove the two million um, civilians who die for this war, that two million for increase the population of Ndibu if to say that war no happen. So now why we say eh, people they try to ensure say War no come again. Sendibu and every other ethnic group for Nigeria, they live, you know, in peace and harmony. Mm. Mm. Okay, so because of time, I'm reaching that. What you feel say be the lesson where right? everybody, both you and me, both the Indibos, and even people who are not be Indibos, supposed to, fit to learn from this Nigeria Biafra civil war. Yeah, so, 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 so this is your question, they're very important because mm. part of the questions I kept asking today um, um, to people where I interviewed me, Okay, ahead of 2023, you know that that silent tension, that gentle pressure, where they there because of say, okay, make Ndibu, make Igbo person become president and all of that. So part of the the, the major lesson where they then talk, they learn today for this uh, never again be unity. Yeah. Waiting be the problem where Igbo man they get with Hausa man, they get with Fulani man, they get with Yoruba man. Waiting be the problem. Okay, how are we going to ensure that there's tolerance? You know, I mean, the, these other ethnic groups get to tolerate the accept Igbo. Igbo uh, yes, get to day. accept the Igbo, get to tolerate. And mm. that's why Onyeka when he kept saying the Igbos are good people. Mm. But tell me again, reiterated that. We, the, the, the persona of the Igbo man as person we know we know the enterprising after the civil war 50 years later it don't change Igbo people they carry goods for high sea Igbo people they they're very enterprising now the Igbo people they find waiting we go do waiting we go do if now leadership may we do for the center of leadership so the Igbo man has evolved and this is what basically this conference is about today mm. Thank you so much for everything where you can't tell us about Thank this matter. You, it don't bring new light enter this very, very matter. Thank you.